We rolling. We got the legend back in the building. Fort Worth Pops. How you feeling, Pops? I swear I feel good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First off, how, how the new year been treating you? My new year started in February. My new year don't start on January the 1st. When I went to the penitentiary in February, I changed my years around. It ain't January no more. It's February. So when February the 28th get here, that's when I began my new year. My life changed. Okay, let me ask you this. Was that something you did in the feds to, to help you with your time? No, I just always said when I got locked up and then I went to the Fed, it's a new game. So February the 28th, I started a new life back there in 1983. So February the 28th, karma, that's my, that's my year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so you still in 2023 right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, man, we're going to jump right into it. We've been talking uh, independently. And we've been talking about a guy who actually came up recently. Uh, you know who Cat Williams is? No, I don't. The, the comedian? I don't know. The only entertainer I knew, believe it or not, was Flip Wilson and Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac's the last one I ever listened to. I don't... Okay. This might be interesting to you then because Cat Williams pretty much exposed all the other comedians, including Steve Harvey. He was exposing them for hating on Bernie Mac, pretty much not doing right by Bernie Mac. They got on the subject of Tyler Perry, which is somebody that me and you have been talking about a lot. So first, give me your thoughts on Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry to me, I don't know anything about him. I got a chance to watch maybe one of his movies more deal, but I don't really know anything about him. I kind of know his story, and they say he come out of the bottomless pit. He used to be homeless. Well, Preacher made a statement on Tyler Perry. And I was on Facebook being nosy. This preacher said Tyler Perry have introduced us to drag queen. So I'm saying, why would the preacher say something like that about Tyler Perry? So then I started watching. Tyler Perry just figured out a way to make him some money dressed up like a broad and everything. So if that's the way he want to make his money, that's his business. So I said, well, let me see if I can get in touch with Tyler Perry and see if Tyler Perry come down here and open up a drama school for these illiterate kids and their mamas and daddies and his hip hops because there's plenty of talent down here in Texas. And it's an agriculture state and they're not too small. Being that they said Tyler Perry got a studio. So Tyler Perry might would want to come to Fort Worth and open up a school for the illiterate kids that the white folks can't get. Do you know anything? Do you know Tyler Perry's a billionaire? Yeah, I heard that Tyler Perry come up out of the, you know, big, walked up and down the street, didn't big, but you know, if you wanted to give him something, then he made himself a billionaire. My thing was, I was being nosy that day when I heard the preacher speaking on Tyler Perry. And I was saying to myself, why is this preacher speaking on somebody? Him or all people's preachers don't speak on nobody. And then what was Flip Wilson? Flip Wilson had Geraldine. Tyler Perry ain't the first one that had man dressed in a well, woman's outfit, a like woman's dress, you know, and things like that. So why would the preacher say something like that about Tyler Perry? So Tyler Perry is an actor. And he come out of the bottom of the pit, so Tyler Perry might would want to come to Texas because Texas is getting big and build a school down here for the, the ghetto kids that mamas and daddies is hip hops and, and they want to be like their mamas and daddies. So if you put a drummer school in school, yeah, there it is. Well, the white folks ain't going to put a drummer school in their school, so we build a small school down here. Tyler Perry, they say she, I mean, they say a billionaire. One thing that stands out to me about what you're saying right now about Tyler Perry is during Cat Williams, Cat Williams, he pretty much took over the internet with his interview. And one thing he highlighted was the fact that there seems to be some sort of ritual in Hollywood. He's not the first one to talk about it. And it's talking about the exact same thing that you're talking about. It's saying that in order to get to the top, it, a black man has to wear a dress and play in a film as a female to kind of emasculate him in order for him to reach the next level. I'm not going to say I'm not going to say that the black man have to put a dress on. Sidney Poitier didn't put no dress on. James L. Washington didn't put no dress on. They don't have to put a dress on to get to the top. There's a lot of black men that got to the top and didn't wear no dress. So it's what the individual want to do to get to the top. 
of uh, what was the Dennis Robin. He dressed with a dress on one time. Whatever a man feel like he got to do, he got to do. Jan Jim Brown had to be in Playboy magazine standing butt naked to get him some money one time to be in the Playboy magazine. Man got to do what he got to do. So if man in Hollywood want to put a dress on to get him some money and that's how he get him some money, that don't make him queer or nothing because he got a dress on and wig on like a woman and acting like a woman. So, you know, how can you speak on it? As far as with Tyler Perry, have you seen any of like the Medea movies? Uh, no, I, I, start, I just started watching just started, them. Just started I, I just started them. watching them because, okay, to me, Tyler Perry is a actor. And he kind of like when he, he fell and he fell down off in the bottom and he had to come back up. So when he fell down off in the bottom and didn't have no money and had to kind of beg, then when he come back up, he come back up off of Medea. He come back off of mud deal. If that's how he had to come back up, that's how he had to come back up. It's off of mud deal. And now he a billionaire acting like mud deal. The preacher is talking about him, but is the preacher doing anything? Is Cat Williams doing anything? Which one of them is helping the community? We're trying to see if if Tyler Perry will come to Texas, buy him some land, and open up a studio and teach our kids how to act. Because he's an actress, be an actress. If you act like a drag queen, if you act like Red Fox, if you act like Steve Harden, if you act like we're just trying to see who will come to Forward, Texas and buy some of this land in Forward, Texas and build something for us and our children because we can't because we ain't got the money. If we had the money, we wouldn't be calling Tyler Perry. Texas nation is broke. So I'm just calling Tyler Perry to see if Tyler Perry or whoever are coming to Fort Worth and build us a school because there's talent in Fort Worth, Texas. Let's talk about the word Medea for a minute, right? Because you you just now getting into it and I don't want to necessarily spoil it for you. But long story short, Tyler Perry plays the stereotypical black grandmother um, who's full of wisdom, who helps everybody around her kind of go through situations but you and charleston white are the only two people outside of re referencing tyler perry that i've heard use the term madea is that the term that that we used to call our grandmothers if i call my grandmother geneva i'm gonna get the shit slapped out of me so we call madea 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 is the one that we give us a whole lot of advice teach us and show us how to work my grandmother had a backyard, so I had to learn how to go out there and dig in the backyard with my grandmother. My grandmother had chickens. I had to watch my grandmother take that chicken and wring that chicken neck and pick the feathers off of that chicken and cut that chicken in half and cut his feet off and put him in that hot water and boil him. And then I eat that chicken on Sunday. That's what mud dear taught me. Madea was a teacher of the family. When my mama and my auntie go to fight, Madea go on there and get right on them and things like that. Madea was the lady. Madea was the lady. So we all call grandma Madea. Madea is kind of like close to mama. Mama's mama. And Madea is Madea. You get love from both of us. And Madea don't play. Madea gonna put something on your ass. Madea gonna tell you one time. And if you don't do it one time, then Madea gonna put something on your ass. So if Tyler Perry is playing the part of Madea, that's the wisdom of the family to keep the family together and what you're supposed to do. And nobody disrespects Madea.